gosh, I am so excited for this video. I haven't been anywhere in 11 months, you guys. Last place I was, was, uh, was, it was, the Smoky Mountains in Atlanta with Tyler. And now we're going to Colorado. Mm, 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 mm. So what to expect in this video, Colorado and photos and adventure and who knows, because I'm not there yet. Oh, let's see. Oh yeah, and I got a new camera, so I hope you enjoy the new viewing experience. There's our beloved Blucifer <laughs> from the Denver airport. Some say it's haunted. Some say it's a conspiracy. Dang, so what do you think so far of Colorado? It's the most dogs I've ever seen. There's everyone has a dog here. Everyone has a dog like you have a kid. There was a couple with a dog picnicking, super cute moment. A lot of young people. There's not as much older folks as Florida and it's very busy hustling and bustling. So, I'm going to show you guys some scenery, some little clips of the city and we're going to try to get closer and closer to the mountains. I kind of want to see it. Two wheels. <laughs> so this is not dubbed over. This is song is actually playing in this store right now. It's the quintessential motorcycle song. Is it just timing? Is it just that we walked in at the right time? Or is that this song always playing? I don't know. <laughs> this is such a motorcycle song. <laughs> Oh, that's a big helmet. I do like that. I mean, if you're going up in the Rocky Mountains, you might want it, but I actually thought about getting these ones. Like, you're not gonna find these anywhere. I have two of their jackets. Cool. It's ripped for pleasure. Oh, the extra pleasure. Actually, it is the right size. It will be protective. That's the important thing. Your foot is very stiff in there, though. It's a bit much for my stock. Oh. See this? How much is it? Too much. Yeah, these look like the Lamborghinis in the room. In a valley. You know how fast this thing is? How fast? Too fast. So fast. So we definitely can't say enough good things about the shop and its neighboring store here. Brazilla, right next to each other. Very nice setup. Very nice place to check out if you love bikes and you're in Denver. Top notch. Dang, that was like a museum and a bike store in one. All right, maybe a sip of coffee before I say something. So, first off, first impression of Colorado, or excuse me, Denver, is it's very eclectic and there's a lot of everything. There's a little bit of everything for everyone and just like the buildings the people are very eclectic there's like a big melting pot here there's a lot of stimulation for your eyes so you're just kind of looking at everything being new here you're obviously just like whoa head on a swivel it's beautiful temperature like no humidity definitely got to drink more water than you think you just dry out before you even realize it like how does this just happen and these mountains here, they just look so soft, I want to pet them. Wow. <laughs> look at this beautiful place. It's quite an incline climbing up here. Hope you like my little cholo outfit. So, this place is legendary. Like, a lot of famous people have performed here. All kinds of different music styles. And the formation of these rocks create like these amazing acoustics here. Let's not 
not easy. High elevation makes you breathe heavy. And man, my thighs are... This is why I went to the gym for like nine days straight to build stamina for this. Imagine seeing this at nighttime, seeing a beautiful concert. Well, Denver is back there, you can't really see it. But all oh, that would be lighting up at night, so gorgeous. Garden of the Gods. I love the contrast of these colors and textures. It's phenomenal. It is day what? What day are we on? Ooh, look, a hawk. Two hawks. Three hawks. Three hawks right there. Day three? Day, day three. three, three hawks. We are heading to the Rocky Mountain National Park. We are very, very excited. So to get in the park, you have to do like online reservations. So we did that. We got like a seven day pass for the car. We're gonna actually camp out in the car and sleep in the car overnight. It's gonna be real, real cold. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how forgiving nature is to us. What do you think? What do you think? It's amazing. It's speechless, it's so beautiful. Yeah, we're gaining an elevation right now and my ears are popping, that's cool. So I have to admit, I'm a little worried about bears. So we asked a few locals, should we get bear spray? Do we need to worry? What do we do? And the lady's like, I've lived here 50 years. I've seen a bear once. And uh, <laughs> I'm like, what do you do if you see a bear? She's like, so go, hey bear. And then the bear will be like, all right. <laughs> No, that's not what she said. Well, she said something like that. So we're not gonna get bear spray and we're gonna be just fine. We did get me a little hat, so I stay warm. And these are incredible, hot hands. This'll get us through the night because we're sleeping in the car. really cold it's really windy it's hard to see because the sun's in your face oh, man. I saw some snow Rocky Mountain high it's our first stop first stop first inside look the home. park yeah first look It is beautiful. It's really
really, really cold. Obviously there's snow on the ground. My skin is dry, lips are dry. I'm speechless, this place is just so majestic. <laughs> we found this really beautiful little spot with amazing yellow foliage and we took some incredible shots. I guess this is old lake bed. Ooh, look at the big paw marks. Ooh, something's out here. Dogs. <laughs> it's gotta be a dog. It looks like dog friends. We did her hear some coyotes last night. Oh yeah. We are in Breckenridge. Breckenville? Breckenridge? Breckenridge is where we are. And yeah, it's like a ski town. There's so much aspen all popping off yellow here. It's beautiful. I'm fully afraid. I'm very scared, you guys. Tyler's having fun with the sun in his freaking eyes. It's blinding. You can't see the road and he's so close to the road. <laughs> Please. <laughs> ah! God! Slow down! <laughs> this is nuts. We're almost there. I love the sign of this. Oh my goodness. Gotta make sure you have plenty of chapstick out here. Oh my god. of snow. He's cool. A little chipmunk. Woo, we're really out here. Wow. There's ice behind me and snow. I'm happy about that. And all that just melts over here and then probably becomes a waterfall and more lakes. What is this, Mount Evans? Look over there, those cliffs. They're so different from anything I've seen. They look like they've been chopped at the top. They're a little different. You coming? Get away from me. <laughs> She's a little winded. Come on, just think of the, the end goal here. You don't want to push yourselves in these altitudes. Think of the reward just beyond your yeah, tiredness. But you know? That's what you gotta think path. about. One foot in front of the other here. Yeah. It's really cold, I'll give you that. It's, it's about right 35, here. I think it's about 35 degrees. Altitudes. We have no idea what we're about to see oh my God. in about we 10 seconds. No I don't know what this is going to look like, but see we're up very I think high. it's going to look really good. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, that's it. Oh man. Well, oh man. I'd say this was worth it. What do you guys think? Mm -hmm. 
snow. Look at that peak with just a little gold on the top. A chipmunk! A little chipmunk! Oh my god, he's so cute! Oh my god, he's so cute! He's so fast! <laughs> he's so cute! All right, there, I got the peak. Bucketless shots. Oh man, that was exhilarating. I don't know, man, that was just very, very powerful and overwhelming in a way. <laughs> um, the oxygen, lack of oxygen really got to me and the elevation. These roads are nuts right now. We got some really beautiful photos, probably some of the best portraits of me and Tyler that I've ever taken. on the edge now. I'm gonna have a very scary ride back. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, slow down. Oh, I can't do it. Oh, shit. It's the road edge right there. It's like you're on an airplane. Oh god, these roads. Amazing. This is like unreal, like a dream. Unbelievable. Bucket list checked off. Oh my god. It's amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's nice. Just look at that. It's crazy. Being out here makes me feel like. When I was a kid, and I used to just go to the woods down in the neighborhood. But like, then when you get older, you know, that's not enough anymore. You do have to go out and find more, right? But this kind of like gives me that same feeling though. When I was a kid, out late at night in the woods with my friends, probably pretty scared because you just don't know what's out there. And that's part of the fun. Oh yeah, we're going to Pike's Peak, so... That's the next mountain on the list. So, the road is like this. It's only eight miles, but it's gonna take us 33 minutes. Seeker, this is it. This is it for you. Just don't laugh too hard because you might lose your breath. Oh, it's so beautiful and scary. a challenge to breathe up here. You just walk a few steps 
and you're out of breath. You feel so out of shape. There's a lot of people here, but they come and go. Yeah, it's weird how they have it all barricaded off. Like, I guess some people need it. So we walked all the way from where those cars are already. It's so nice and quiet. Yeah. How's it feeling? Good. It's warm for now because we're moving. But it's great. I think we're as tall as we're gonna get. Yeah. For this trip. This is it. It's just this drop off from right here, like. Yeah, we hiked. <laughs> Yep, pretty crazy. I like this side. All that snow. You see it's right next to the road. I'm feeling the altitude. Like, when you're breathing really hard, Feels like you're just not getting, it's just the air's so thin. You're not getting any air. And it's, it's pretty bad. We're shooting for Kiodon, so. This is just like the most epic place I've ever taken photos for anything, so. And it's so quiet. Like, the quietest ever. Lovely, lovely shot there. Dreamy. I think I just saw a bat <laughs> fly by. Is that what that was? I think so. It was like right by, behind the camera. Oh man. Pretty amazing. I don't think I could get sick of the mountains. <laughs> no way. And I wanted a city overlook where it's like twinkling and look. Look at that. We got it. I always wanted to see a spot like this. Like you can't get this in Florida where you're like up high and you see twinkling lights, like checkmate, or check the bucket list, not checkmate, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just altitude sicknessing over it. here. That's it, that's it. Good job, yep. I blame it on the altitude. We're blame from it Florida. on the uh, 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 altitude. Oh shit, oh. <laughs> 